I feel like every few years there's some big announcement that like women are funny, like it's a news item. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm always like, this yeah. is not shocking not to me. No. Well, this show is a half hour comedy, it's pretty pretty emotional. When I was thinking about creating the show, I sort of thought about like a, my so-called life if Gilda Radner was on it. So I calculated and I can last in New York for three and a half more days, maybe seven if I don't eat lunch. Gilda Radner, Jill Clayburgh, women who I think were playing really interesting, complicated characters when that wasn't an option. They were making those opportunities for themselves kind of aggressively and you know, played the kinds of flawed women that you're not really allowed to see in the movies that often. My entire life has been one ridiculous mistake after another. When you get hungry enough, you're gonna figure it out. Do you mean like physically hungry or like hungry for the job? I had just graduated from college and I had actually just moved out to LA from New York to start my career and I auditioned and I met Lena and we fell madly in love and then I came right back to New York to shoot the pilot. I pay all the bills in this apartment. Does that not give me like one night off from talking about you and your problems? I skipped out on college, started working. This job has been very exceptional for me because it's a period of life that I didn't get to experience myself. You could not pay me enough to be 24 again. Well, they're not paying me at all. It's not like when the show started, you were like a floundering 24-year-old trying to figure out what job you wanted. Oh no, yeah, I have a job. I'm a painter. Yeah. She's my friend, so she sort of yeah. had to be seduced into it. <laughs> She's one of the few people who has to be convinced to come be on an HBO show. <laughs> <laughs> and he just read back and he was like, are you making fun of me? <laughs> I want to see what he says. I feel like this is probably what everybody says on shows where they actually hate each other, but yeah. we really like spending time <laughs> really together. Good. Here's places I think are sexy for date. The Odeon. Very I think sad. that's a sexy place the for the day. Odeon is like where kids go with their parents who want to go to the Odeon. Yeah, that's why it's awesome. <laughs> I could not have concocted a more exciting way to start my career. And I'm doubly proud to be part of a show that's very empowering to especially young women who are finding themselves as most young women are. I think that I may be the voice of my generation, or at least a voice of a generation.